All right, hey everyone, Tyler here. We're gonna do another lighting breakdown in this video. We've been setting up for a series of interviews here and we had some last night as well. We stayed at the Airbnb, so we've kind of had all day to, to tinker with this. So I uh, figured I'd kind of give you a little lighting breakdown of what we've done, a little production breakdown, if you will. So uh, first of all, we have a key light. We've got uh, like a quasi, it's like a diet cove light. You will <laughs> it's it yeah it's not i don't know it co it turns anyways we've got a nova p600c hitting a the white side of sound blanket and that's kind of given us just a nice soft key light and this sound bl blanket isn't you know not really specular so it looks really nice on skin tones it's gonna look vastly different than what you're seeing here because we're number one we're shooting the A camera is Red Gemini, B camera is Komodo X, and we're shooting on the Blazar Remus anamorphic lenses. I'm over here on the 28 to 70 on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K, filming in open gate, so like the opposite of anamorphic look. But it looks really cool on the A camera, uh, and I just set this camera up for this. Anyway, so we got the key light here. Um, again, it's like a 7 by 8 foot soft key light, essentially, just bouncing. And then we have a four by floppy here and got that draped over just for some negative fill on the shadow side of the face. So that's pretty much how the light is impacting the talent in the chair. And then we have some other lights and some other things that are really just affecting the background. So we have two hard light fixtures. We have a uh, an aperture a Lightstorm 600C with the spotlight mount, the 36 degree. And we actually have, we stacked two gobos over each other. It's the foliage one and like some other breakup pattern one. It's like my favorite combo because I feel like it adds more texture and randomness. And we've just kind of gotten that softened up a little bit. And that's hitting like the back here. You can kind of see it on that back like island thingy and then some on the, the ground behind me. And again, with the A camera, you can kind of see more of what's going on. It's actually a wider frame. So that's one of the lights. And then the other light is a, an Aperture 60X. And we got both of those at 4,500 degrees, just to kind of give this look of like some afternoon sun kind of coming through some windows. And then we have a, uh, <laughs> We, we have some foli like real life foliage that we've just like Mathlini clamped to the C-stand arm. And that's just given us a way to, to break up the pattern, similar to how the Gobo is working uh, in the spotlight mount. But that 60X, what it's doing is it's, is it's given a nice little breakup pattern, but are also like intentionally hitting this corner of this wall where there actually is a door on the other side of the corner, but what it's doing is it's making it look like there's some light coming through the door, which I, we all think looks really cool. So these these hard light fixtures here are kind of coming from the same way as the key light. So it's really helping to motivate the key light because there's only this window behind me and those are the only other like motivations really in the frame. So by adding these hard light fixtures with, with this, shadows and everything giving these dramatic shadows and the light direction coming from the same way as the key light just really helps motivate and sell that the the, the key light is a light source that's lighting us up naturally and then what we've done in the back there's two windows here and this window here what we've done is we actually just put a, a four by silk out there just to block the sun the sun's actually coming from this way but we didn't want it to we didn't we wanted it to look like light was coming from this way so what we've done is just diffuse those windows so there's no actual hard like actual sunlight hitting it because that would look awkward if sunlight was coming through those windows this way and then we have light coming this way so now it just kind of looks like it's daylight outside and we've taken all the the harshness of those windows out and then this window here we've put what you don't magic cloth yeah, six by magic cloth. And we just kind of taped it up in there so that again, you can see that there's there's light, there's a window frame there, but, and the sun's actually hitting it. But since it's diffused so much, it just looks like ambient light outside, not actual hard light sun coming through, if that makes sense. Uh, that's pretty much it for the lighting. And then for audio, we're running 
the Sennheiser MKH-50 that we're usually we're running into with sound devices, but right now I'm just running it straight into the cinema camera, which I just realized that I'm really low. I should have been much louder. Whoops. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> so anyways, it looks way better on the actual A camera and even and the B camera with the lensing and filtration that we're using on those cameras. This is just like a super old variable ND that is super scratched and it's just used for BTS for this shoot. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe and like and comment and all that fun stuff. Yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.